What's up, everybody? Here to give you guys a review for Little Women in Atlanta Season 4, Episode 6 of Radio Wars. You know, I've been going for a minute. This is going to be the first, I think, like 15 different reviews that I'm about to pump out. <laughs> so, fuck it. We just finna do it. <clears throat> if I happen to just gloss over shit, I'm doing 15 fucking reviews back to back. <laughs> Let me just say that. Alright, so <clears throat> we got the twins and mini. Uh, talk about uh, pretty much uh, mini and Sam, and you know, mini trying to do radio. So there's that. We got Juicy Sam and Moni. Moni is throwing an all white party for Moreland. B day, and she pretty much wants to do a sassy performance. And with the whole uh, twins and Minnie and them talking about Minnie and Sam, the fact that they're still not talking at this particular point. So, Juicy asked Sam about Minnie, and it just is what it is. The girls bring up Tanya, and you know, Moni talked to her, and Tanya apologized about you know the whole not having the baby or not having her around to see the baby. Let me see. We had a scene with uh, Chris and Andrea, so I'm just going to go ahead and say it. So, money is tight. <clears throat> uh, she ended up carrying the baby stuff up the stairs while he had the baby. Which, I know some people feel the ways about that, but she wanted to do it. But she even said when she has their third child that it's going to be difficult maneuvering. So, he wants to build a ramp. She says, no, call a professional. They end up calling a professional. Now, he... <clears throat> so they call a professional before that he went for a job interview didn't get it because of his checkered pass he assists assists the contractor and building the ramp everything went well and the contractor offered him a job so now he got a job doing contract work so congrats Chris so sage lady she's having a hard time healing and taking care of the kids I really can give two fucks I told y'all I don't give a fuck about her shit <laughs> I really don't and as I get through these other reviews you'll see why Vaughn suggests sending the kids with his mom. <clears throat> Alright. Let me see. I already talked about Chris and the job shit. Many, many gets advice on doing the podcast. She actually gets put on to do a dry run and they want her to come back because she did a good job. Alright. I know. Talk about that. Sage Lady, Nico, and Vaughn. She invites uh, Nico over to say goodbye to their kids. And they're going to be going for three weeks. Moreland's party, Sam goes in and doesn't speak to Minnie, rolls her eyes. Sam goes to try to talk to Minnie, kind of squash shit, but Minnie doesn't want to talk to her. And Sam says she needs to try harder at things, more or less the whole weight loss and everything, because Minnie is still upset at the fact that, you know, she betrayed her trust. What the fuck ever. Things spiral after that. Moni uh, <clears throat> gives Moreland a uh, chair dance. He throws some money at her. I thought that she was cute. Um, <clears throat> Moni decides to tell it now. Okay, so this is the shit that got me first and foremost. Sam and uh, Minnie trying to talk this shit out probably wasn't the place or time, but it's at this point that Minnie now wants to make everything about her, and it's like she knows that this is going to strike a chord. So, why she thought this was the best venue, I have no fucking idea. So, <clears throat> She tells everybody that she wants to do radio. She then goes on to say, most people doubted me. That was a jab at, uh, what's, her, what's that girl named? Juicy. That was definitely a jab at her. And <clears throat> she said to the podcast, Juicy is upset, pretty much saying that, you know you want to be me, you can't be me. She gets up and she walks away, and I guess she was still trying to compose herself. She's talking with Sam. Minnie walks over to Juicy and Sam and continues to poke the bear, and then Juicy pretty much just leaves. But it's just like, okay. Like, I was here from... <clears throat> I'm going to be back on Minnie's side, the very last review that I'm going to do. But it's just like, while we were hashing shit from previous... It was either last season or the season before. Like, why are we doing this? Like, do you really need a storyline that bad? But that was it. Real quick. Ain't a whole lot happened. Not a whole lot really happened on Little Woman Atlanta. I'm pretty sure the last review I'm probably going to have more to say because I have a lot to say because a lot of shit happened. But I'll be right back for Married to Medicine.